first act, Robbie is writing a story for the Riverdale High School newspaper. I'm writing an article on the feelings about graduation. Robbie will have to make some decisions. What does he want to do after graduation? Maybe you should think about becoming a writer. Maybe I should. Philip would like Robbie to go to the University of Michigan. So he schedules an interview for Robbie with the Dean of Admissions. He's going to be in New York tomorrow to interview applicants for admission. But Robbie may not want to go to the same school that his father and grandfather attended. But I may not want to go to Michigan. What does Robbie want to do? Who is it? Dad. Come on in, Dad. I thought you might be hungry. I brought you a chicken sandwich and a glass of milk. I am hungry. Thanks, Dad. What time is it anyway? 10 o'clock. What are you working on? I'm writing a story for the high school paper. Can't you finish it tomorrow? No, I have to turn it in in the morning. What's it about? I'm writing an article on the feelings about graduation. And uh, how do you feel? Me? Hmm? A little scared and excited, too. I felt the same way. The scary part's leaving home and moving to college. Oh. Leaving home is part of growing up. Well, don't work all night. I don't mind. I enjoy writing. Well, maybe you should think about becoming a writer. Maybe I should. You have lots of time to decide. That's the worst part, making decisions. You'll be OK. Good night, son. Good night, Dad. Heroes, hail, hail to Michigan, the champions of the West. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good morning, Robbie. Good morning, Dad. How's my grandson? Fine, Grandpa, fine. What's all the cheering about? Did the University of Michigan win another football game? Better than that. Tell me, Philip. I just spoke with Charlie Rafer. Who's Charlie Rafer? He's the dean of admissions for the University of Michigan. And it turns out... He's a classmate of Phillips. Yeah, we were both on the tennis team. Great. It is great. He's going to be in New York tomorrow to interview applicants for admission. And he's agreed to fit you into his schedule. But I may not want to go to Michigan. It's one of the best schools in the country, Robbie. I studied medicine there. Your grandfather went to the engineering school there. I know that, but... You said you wanted to be a doctor, like your father. Not exactly. You couldn't pick a finer medical school than Michigan. Yes, I know that. Let's meet with Charlie at the University Club. 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. It doesn't mean you're going to Michigan. That doesn't mean you have to be a doctor. But the interview will be a good experience for you. In that case, it's OK. Dad. Growing up means making my own decisions, doesn't it? You're right, Robbie. But, like your grandpa suggested, have the interview. And then make your own decision. That sounds fine. Look, I know it's sudden, Robbie, but this is an important opportunity. We'll head down there first thing tomorrow morning, OK? Sure, Dad. I want you to know something, son. I'm, uh, I'm very proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Well, I've got an appointment at the hospital. I'll, uh, I'll see you all at dinner time. Bye, Dad. Is, uh, something still wrong, Robbie? 
I'll be okay. Going away to college for the first time always makes one a little nervous. I guess so. I'll be okay. I just need time to think. <laughs> writing an article on the feelings about graduation. And, uh, how do you feel? Me? A little scared. And excited, too. I feel scared. I feel excited. It's a whole new situation. I've got my future to think about after high school graduation. I feel scared. I feel excited. I've got a lot on my mind. Going away to school, going away from home, and the friends I'll leave behind. Growing up means making my own decisions, doesn't it? Decisions, decisions, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've got my whole life ahead of me when I graduate from school. Decisions, decisions, and college applications. Where do I go to school and what will I do for my future occupation? The scary part's leaving home and moving to college. I'm leaving home for the first time, moving to a brand new place. A new situation, a new location, and no one will know my face. I'm leaving home for the first time, and nothing will be the same. A new destination, a new location, and no one will know my name. I'm scared. I'm excited. I'm scared. I'm excited. Coming up in the second act, Robbie has an interview with Dean Rafer. You must be Robbie. Hi. <laughs> Dean Rafer asks Robbie about his activities in high school. I see under activities that you've been writing for the school paper. As they talk, the Dean sees that Robbie is uncertain about going to the University of Michigan. You seem to have some reservations. What will Dean Rafer say to Robbie? Sorry, Robbie. Sorry to be late this morning, but, uh, well, we've still got some time for a cup of coffee. I can't wait to see my old pal, Charlie Rafer. Neither can I. So, you thought about it, huh? Yes, I have, Dad. Well, I'm glad. I knew you'd realize that this interview could be an important experience for you. I came to that conclusion. That's very wise, Robbie. Very wise. Hm. Now let's, uh, let's head off to the city and university club. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Thanks? For what? Thanks for hearing me out. And... And? And thanks for being such an understanding father. Well, thank you, Robbie. Thank you. Philip Stewart, it's great to see you. Charlie Rafer, you look as young as ever. <laughs> <laughs> you must be Robbie. Hi. <laughs> yes, this is my youngest son, Robbie. Robbie, I want you to meet one of the best tennis players on the Michigan team. <laughs> Charlie Rafer. Nice to meet you, Dean Rafer. Well, are you as good a tennis player as your dad? No, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Frankly, neither was I. Uh, Charlie was the star of the team. Yeah, thanks. 
Well, how have you been, Philip? Oh, working too hard. Doesn't show. How's Ellen? Fine, thank you. And how's Marge? She's still giving the toughest English history exams in the school and loving every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of minutes, I have interviews until noon, so why don't we get right to work? Can you, uh, can you have lunch with us later? I'd love to, Philip, but I'm afraid I can't. I'm only here two days, and I have interviews with 26 applicants. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks. I'll, uh, I'll wait outside. Good luck, son. Did you bring your transcript from high school? Yes, sir. Right here. Thank you. Please, sit down. I see under activities that you've been writing for the school paper. Yes, sir. What kind of articles have you written? All kinds. Sports, um, editorials, theater reviews. You name it, I've written it. Hmm. Well, have you ever thought of becoming a journalist? Professional writer? Not until recently. Michigan has a fine school of journalism. Yes, I know that. You seem to have some reservations. I'm a little uncertain. And it's been very nice talking to you. Nice talking to you, sir. Mm -hmm. One piece of advice. The most important thing is for you to decide your own future. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Dean Rafer. Goodbye, Robbie. Good luck. <laughs> The most important thing is for you to decide your own future. I have to decide. It's my future. It's up to me. Where do I want to go to school? What do I want to study? Dad and Grandpa went to the University of Michigan. It's one of the best schools in the country, Robbie. I studied medicine there. Your grandfather went to the engineering school there. But I may not want to go to the University of Michigan. Maybe I don't want to study medicine or engineering. Maybe I want to study journalism. I like to write. I've written a lot of articles. What kind of articles have you written? All kinds. Sports, um, editorials, theater reviews. You name it, I've written. Maybe I do want to study journalism. I'll become a journalist. I could write for the New York Times. Robert Stewart. Writer. Yeah, I could study journalism. I'd take a course in writing. German, and history, and literature, and I will skip mathematics. I hate math. But I might take music. Wait a second. I don't just like journalism. I like lots of subjects. And if I study liberal arts, I can take courses in a variety of subjects. Yeah, I don't have to decide on my major in the first year. I think I want to become a writer. But I have time to decide. Maybe you should think about becoming a writer. Maybe I should. You have lots of time to decide. I do have time to decide. And it's up to me. In the third act, Robbie's friend Mike tells Robbie about his interview. I had a great interview with admissions at Columbia University. And Robbie tells Mike that he'd like to study journalism. I think I want to study journalism, to be a reporter. Later, Robbie talks to his father about his decision. Hi, Dad. Everything's fine. I was just waiting for you to get home so we could talk. How will Philip feel about Robbie's decision? I had an interview today, too. I had a great interview with admissions at Columbia University. Really? What did they say? Will you get into the school? Well, they didn't say anything for sure. But I figured that with my grades and with my personality, I'll have no problem. <laughs> Columbia is a terrific school. What are you going to do? Do? I don't know. I also applied to NYU. 
You sound excited about Columbia. What's your problem, Mike? Indecision. Indecision. It's not easy, and this is an important decision we have to make. And what about you? How was your interview with Michigan? The interview was fine. It's a great college. It is. My father would like me to go there. He and my grandpa both went there. Great medical school, too. I know. You can follow in your father's footsteps. Ah! I'd like to follow in my own footsteps, Mike. Yeah, what do you want to study? I've been thinking. I think I want to study journalism, to be a reporter, a newspaper man. You do a pretty good job on the Riverdale High School paper. And I've been thinking about it a lot lately. Have you discussed it with your parents? No, but I have to. OK, let's talk. Hi, son. Is everything all right? Hi, Dad. Everything's fine. I was just waiting for you to get home so we could talk. Anything special you want to talk about? There is, Dad. I'm listening. Well, I know you and Mom have given up a lot to save money for my college tuition. We want you to go to college, Robbie. I know, I do. But? Well, I've thought a lot about which college, and one of them is Columbia. Columbia? Why Columbia? First, they have an excellent school of journalism. Mm hmm They do. And your friends are planning to go to Columbia? That's only part of it. It's complicated. I'll try to explain. Mike and I had a hamburger this afternoon and we talked. Yes? Well, we talked about a lot of things. He applied to Columbia and his interview was very successful. He thinks he'll be accepted and he really wants to go there. Dean Rafer called me today. He told me he was very impressed with you. He's a nice man. He was very kind. He told me you had some doubts about wanting to go to Michigan. Yes, I do. I'm just not sure about what I want to do. It's OK. You understand? Let me tell you something, Robbie. Something that uh, might be surprising to you. What? Tell me. Well, Grandpa wanted me to study engineering, like him. Well, I wasn't clear about my future, but I knew engineering was not for me. What did you tell Grandpa? The truth. Then you're not upset about my not wanting to go into medicine? I'm not upset at all. I'm just happy that we're able to talk about it. I am too, Dad. I suppose you want to apply to Columbia. Yes, but I also want to apply to several other colleges. I thought you wanted to go to Columbia. Well, I might want to go to Columbia, and I might not. I just want to be able to make my own decision. You're a real steward. And if I think about it long enough, you never know. Never know what? If I make my own decision, I might choose Michigan. <laughs> Robbie, you're something. You know, when I was your age, I said exactly the same thing to Grandpa. <laughs> Do I want to go to the University of Michigan? Dad and Grandpa went there. Or to an Ivy League school, 
like Columbia University, or maybe NYU, New York University. Mike applied there. I've also been thinking about going to a state school, SUNY, the State University of New York at New Paltz. How can I compare them? I think I'd like to go to a small school, but Michigan and Ann Arbor, Michigan is not small. Columbia is smaller than Michigan. SUNY at New Paltz is smaller than either Michigan or NYU, and Columbia is smaller than SUNY. It's a smaller school for undergraduates. I want to go to a school that's close to Riverdale. But Michigan is far away. SUNY is closer to Riverdale. NYU is closer than SUNY. And Columbia is the closest. Wow, that's a lot to think about. Which one is the smallest? Columbia. Which school is the closest to Riverdale? Columbia. Which school is the cheapest? SUNY at New Paltz. Which school would you choose?